Are you desperate for Spider-Man 4? Is it the only thing that you constantly think about? Is the thought of Sam Raimi making a Tobey Maguire sequel the thing that boosts your testosterone levels naturally? Well, this might excite you because at least one star seems to have flipped back on, yes, we need it. I want to do it. MJ herself, Kirsten Dunst, was recently talking about her future in Hollywood and if there's any project that she would be interested in. And once again, Spider-Man was brought up. She talked about the fact that she was never contacted to appear in any of the films. And well, while talking about that, once again, there was the idea of Spider-Man 4 that was brought up and they asked her about the recent comments that she made in regards to her time with Spider-Man and then talking a little bit more about working with Sam Raimi, working with Tobey Maguire and Sam Raimi's recent comments and she says, well, I still remember we were going to make Spider-Man 4 and she says she can't remember what exactly happened or what they were going to do because it was so long ago but if they can all come back, she really wants to do it. And she's open to doing it. And she says that so far, if we're looking at all these Spider-Man films, there's a lot there. So now it's very possible, especially with where they are today with superhero films and especially the Spider-Man brand. And I think she's obviously acknowledging the whole multiverse thing. Remember, 15 years ago, if you were to tell somebody, yeah, we're going to have two live action Spider-Man or just two in theaters, even if one was CG, the studio and everybody would laugh you out of the building. Because the consensus was, audience stupid. Now, it's changed. The concept of the multiverse now is in everything. It's literally in everything now, it seems. So people are more willing to understand it and buy it. So, it would be one of those things where, as she's saying, it's changed so much now, that if they want to do it, they can, and nobody's going to bat an eye. And I think that's sort of the key takeaway here that everybody is saying that's involved with these films. And that's, well, it's not really a problem anymore because we can just do whatever and people will understand, hey, it's a different Spider-Man. And she even mentioned that that wasn't the case when it came to The Amazing Spider-Man. It had to be a reboot because of the nature of, well, at the time. So I suppose now we got... Almost everybody's saying they want to do it. So the ball is in Sony's court, I guess.